matching mask with some people that kind of look surprised in the way. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Morning Brew. My name is Amber Hendren, and I'm here with Dan Mayfield. Running of the Chihuahuas is coming up, and we've got some really passionate Chihuahua owners and animal advocates. And talk Barkley. all about this. And a superstar Chihuahua himself, Senor Barkley. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. First, I'd like to introduce Michaela Brown. Michaela is the founder of Superstarter of Startup Albert ABQ and CEO of Target Market International. Hello, and you're the uh, human mama of Barkley, is that yes. correct? He's my baby. <laughs> He's your baby. <laughs> cool. Well, welcome. And then we also have um, Miss Terry Halbert. Halbert. She's Halbert, the owner yeah. of Petland Albuquerque. Yes. And this uh, other cute guy here <laughs> sitting on the couch. I mean, I'm not as cute as this guy, but um, <laughs> I'm Taylor, and I'm uh, the associate for Startup ABQ. Okay. Yes. Well, wonderful. Welcome. Can you please tell our audience and all about running of the Chihuahuas? I would love to. So the running of the Chihuahuas is a benefit for Startup ABQ, and it's also a family-friendly event. It's not just about our Chihuahuas, even though we love the Chihuahuas. It's any dog who can come, and then we have... Well, it's free for children as well. So families can come and play on the jumpers. We've got an, a live action Angry Birds game oh, cool. with the remote control. Nice. And then, of course, the Chihuahua races. Which Did they actually the race. race? They will. How do you coax a Chihuahua down a racetrack? Well, you put the human that the dog loves the most at the end. Okay. And hopefully they'll, they'll get there, but I've raced my dog before. He yeah. gets about halfway and then gets lost and starts prancing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that adds to the entertainment value. How cute. Awesome. One of our races is going to be the teeny tiny dogs, the race of the littles, so oh. four pounds and under. It's going to be so funny. That's oh. awesome. But Chihuahuas is a metaphor for startup ABQ mm -hmm. because it's all about startups. Sure. And Chihuahuas are small dogs, like small companies. <laughs> Am I right? Am I getting the I metaphor like that. here? Yeah. That's good. Okay, Mayfield. good. The little yeah. engine that could. The little, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I kept getting the metaphor. Absolutely. And Petland is a small business. It is. Yeah. How did you guys get involved with running the Chihuahuas? Uh, Michaela uh, pitched the idea to me, and it was perfect for what our business is all about. We're all about children and having fun and uh, events with animals as well. And dressing up dogs, too, I and think. dressing up dogs. <laughs> yes, because yes. you have, because it's a costume contest, and you can get costumes <laughs> yeah. at Petland, right? Yes, we got a great assortment this year. It's awesome. So what can I dress up my 100-pound dog, Fozzie Bear, as? I have stuff to, that would that would work. <laughs> yeah? I have things that big, yes. Like dinosaur costumes or something? We She'd do, do a, a lot beautiful of beautiful ballerina. You know, yeah. I put a tutu on yeah, my dog. It'd be pretty that. great. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of hard because a lot of the costumes are more geared for Halloween and are heavy and hot and warm. Oh, yeah, so we yeah. went more for the summer outfits, little cowboy outfits, little tutus. Bumblebee. Hawaiian <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> Hawaiian t-shirts. Yes. So a great assortment. And do, you know, do try to, we try to cater particularly to the male dogs. Some of the male dogs kind of get overlooked. Oh, of so. course. Yes. <laughs> and, Taylor, do you have a dog, Taylor? I don't. Actually, oh. I have a cat, and she doesn't do too well on a leash, so I don't think she, she will be coming to this event as no much as races. I'd like to try. No, not just yet. Maybe next year. <laughs> okay. That might be in the works. You're lobbying for that with Taylor right now. <laughs> I'm working oh on gosh. it. That'd be awesome. Just imagine trying to herd the cats. <laughs> uh, okay. I know. We'd all be walking away with slashes <laughs> and like, cuts, so maybe, maybe not with the cats. We'll just stick with chihuahuas and dogs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just a little. <laughs> so this is coming up on Sunday, okay. May fourth, two thirty to two thirty p.m. Right during lunch hour. Okay, it's at perfect. Balloon Fiesta. Mm -hmm. And anybody can bring their Chihuahua. Absolutely. And other dogs. Definitely. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. That's and funny. kids. And kids. <laughs> Chihuahuas. Well, children love Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas need to love children more. <laughs> you know, children need to be gentle with chihuahuas. Chihuahuas yes. are just, they don't realize that they're small. Yeah, and they're fragile. Dogs. And, you know, they're yes. fragile. And yeah. I know, you know, we have to teach, teach our little ones how to properly handle these little exactly. guys. Hi, baby. We have Hi. more than 70 chihuahuas registered already. Already. Oh, it's already. amazing. And it's blowing up by the day. Okay. We look and we go, oh my gosh, and this more is registers. The first one? Yes. And who are some of the other sponsors? I see a there's a bunch. Really yeah, we have gathering. quite a few. You and TEDx. And Target Market is your company. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit more about Startup ABQ. I think this is a very cool, mm -hmm. a very interesting project for Thank startups you. in Albuquerque. Startup ABQ is a platform where our companies in Albuquerque have an opportunity to launch in the community and also into other markets throughout the U.S. or, or abroad. 
We take them from concept all the way to market ready within one month. We find them tech partners, we find them investment, we give them purchase orders. If they want access to another state or another city or another market, we either have the resources for them or we connect them with the people that, that do. And then the event in the middle of the month, the third Thursday, we put together a room full of business owners, entrepreneurs, and investors who are only there to be a resource for our four companies that are pitching that, that day. So, so nice. by and the time breakfast. they're done, oh. sorry? And, and there's breakfast. breakfast. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> Lots of coffee. It's, er it's early. <laughs> Absolutely. Business. It's early in the morning, but that, that 7.30 breakfast makes a big deal. It, it's perfect. Yeah. And you get to hear three presentations once a month at, at Michaela's events. And you hear, see all kinds of really great new startup companies. Mm -hmm. so it's great mm -hmm. fun. So Small businesses like Petland when they were getting mm -hmm. started. Absolutely. Oh, I would have appreciated something that would give me that much, you know, extra Support. help in the launch in the company. Absolutely. Exactly. How long have you had Petland? Uh, a little over two years. Awesome. And, and you sell food, toys, treats. Yeah, it's a full assortment. Our main thing is just having a full assortment of animals. We have animals Sit available on the floor. The kids Sit. can pick up the bunnies and pick up the guinea oh. pigs and interact with them. So it's the only store that's doing this format anymore. And I love the way you have the doggy treats. Yes. How many? Uh, people do you see eating those doggy treats? Oh, like, well, the like, ones that, they look like people. I have eaten yeah. those. I have been one of those people where I'd walk in through and I had my dogs because you can bring your dog shopping. Yes. And uh, I would bring Dakota, my little beagle, and because we'd buy her, her attire. Up. And we would just, and animal crackers, and I'd sit there and eat the animal crackers. They're I don't know. They're human shapes. Some of them are they are. human quality, right? Yes, they are. Actually, they are. But yeah, there's a lot of kids that race over to they're them gonna, because They're going to take me away, aren't they? And they have a they're nice smell. They're going to take me away. No. <laughs> Michaela, I was reading about your background. I just was very, very impressed with your education and, your, Thank and you. just all of the things that you've done in your career. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? And It's a long resume. It is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's not often that we get to, to interview somebody like you. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, I was seven years in Europe and four years in Panama, and of course, all over the U.S. I went to graduate school in Rome for two years and worked at Vatican Embassy. My background's in international trade. I was a USAID contractor for a project in Malawi, and I also worked for the U.S. and Foreign Commercial Service in the International Bio Program. And that's how all of this kind of came about. Mm -hmm. My job was to connect U.S. companies to opportunities abroad and recruit international buyers and investors and bring them to the U.S. and match them with U.S. companies. Mm. So when I moved to Albuquerque, I really, I found, I found a market here for that type of opportunity and just to promote the talent and amazing opportunities that are here internationally or at least throughout the state so more people see the talent and the amazing products that are coming out of Albuquerque. So running of the Chihuahuas is another way for us to promote local companies like, like Terry. Mm -hmm. I was so impressed when I came to her store because of how she really creates an experience within her store. Mm -hmm. She's got 12 employees. When a kid comes there to buy a pet for his birthday, she throws a party for him. Yeah. No <laughs> other pet store does that. True. So That's awesome. And how did you choose Albuquerque? After living in Rome and Malawi and Panama and all these wonderful <laughs> yeah. places, how did you end up here in Nouveau-Mexique? My <laughs> parents moved here about four years ago. My dad's retired military, and he's still working because the Army never retires. They keep working hard. And you're a sweet, loving daughter, and you said, yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. I'll, I'll move with y'all. I'll go with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'll figure give, things give out Give Albuquerque your shot and find out. And you've, you've been here about a year, but you've already been, you've just thrown yourself into the business community for sure doing a lot of this stuff. And then you found Taylor, and <laughs> then you found Terry, mm -hmm. and, and also you found Animal Humane. I did. And they're the big beneficiary of the Running of the Chihuahuas, am I right? Thank you so much. Yes, they are. They came in as a co-sponsor for this with Terry, and they are bringing us their mobile adoption unit. They're going to be bringing Chihuahua puppies and have a little oh. Chihuahua puppy pen. It's going to be amazing. Look out. I know, yeah. <laughs> Look out, Dan. Oh, I'm, I'm not... Fuzzy Bear might get a little leather <laughs> I know. Well, it, 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 would, it would be the funniest thing, because my dog is 99 <laughs> pounds. She's she huge. <laughs> so... <laughs> And then to bring a little chihuahua into the house, she would he probably freak out. She could. <laughs> but she's a gentle dog, oh, okay. which is great. And but yeah, I would probably just fall in love with a new puppy if there was one there. I yeah, couldn't but that'll resist. be so nice Very if dangerous. people can adopt a new Absolutely. a new baby, a new furry furry friend. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And City is also involved with Animal Humane. They awesome. they received a grant to promote the spaying and neutering of pit bulls and chihuahuas. 
Cool. So, so the races in heats, are they in, is it one giant race? How does it, how, what's the format for For 70 thing? dogs. I know. For 70 <laughs> dogs, yes. That would be really funny, though, if I put one big pit and have all the chihuahuas run. <laughs> It'd be a little like running you the bulls. Have it it would be. You want to keep this going. <laughs> right, no. I'm racing heats of, of 10. Okay. Okay, so seven heats of 10 so far. Correct. That'll be awesome. And then you get, give them little horns, little like, so they can be bulls. Well, I'm, Do you I sell told those, Terry. <laughs> little, get little oh like bull horns for chihuahuas. Oh, no, didn't, didn't search those out. No. The chihuahuas can race in costume if it helps their confidence. Okay. Okay. Confidence. Oh. <laughs> well, you well, need the edge. Give them the edge. Any little thing might help. Right. Cool. Well, Michaela Brown, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And we'll be back in to get some doggy treats from Petland soon. We'll help you out. Awesome. And I, I promise I won't eat them. Awesome event. <laughs> Sunday at the Balloon Fiesta Park. Thank you so much. We'll see you after Thank the break, you. everybody. Don't go away.